Hi everybody, I'm Nijat Sainov. Recently I have decided to make new programs and these programs will about economies, economic analysis in Europe and the world. And as a start I will talk about Hungarian economy, particularly public expenditure management in Hungary. And I will have a look uh, in the statistics, official statistics, European statistics, and to understand how uh, the Hungarian government progressed in the last decades or last 10 years. And let's have a look. So before starting have a look to the statistics, I would like to mention the my data source. Main data source is a Eurostat and also Hungarian uh, official numbers. And and also sometimes you will see the, the as a measurement I uh, I selected uh, like measurement percentage of GDP which uh, helps us to understand the, how the uh, how to say the countries spend um, uh, its value on the local economy let's say it's just the measurement it doesn't it has no connection with GDP and so the, in the first chart you see the total general government expenditure as percentage of GDP and in quite in the last let's say 10 years Hungary almost over uh, the hung, uh, European average which is 28 numbers so yeah it will be 27 after brexit done so let's have a look de in details as a functional split general government public expenditure split by function and in the last uh, between 2004 2016 as a percent of total hungarian government spend uh, mainly 60 percent in welfare functions which is a which we will talk uh, about this as well. State operational functions, 15%, and public debt transactions, 8%, um, economic functions, 16%. Uh, let's have a look deeply. So that is a more deep uh, explanation and I split. Uh, so as you see the, um, uh, in, in the the main driver in the welfare function is a social insurance and welfare. The 35, health is 13, education 9%. And what is interesting as well here, like defense 2%, economic affairs services. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the next chart. So general public services as a one function, as you see the Hungary is above 
the European average. That is actually, it's also mentioned um, in some research. And in one research, let me have a look in, in the research, the called Estimating and Managing of the Government Expansion Selected European Union Countries by Gitana and Vidmante. Sorry for my pronunciation if I couldn't pronounce properly the names. So they mentioned that uh, Hungarian government uh, economy uh, in the Hungarian um, economy, general public services expenditure is dominates like in Greece, Italy and Cyprus. Actually, that's a recent research. In one of my research papers, I also dived in uh, European and also post-Soviet countries public expenditure management. And in my, and actually I took these countries and made some uh, cluster analysis. And actually the Hungary was in second cluster with, um, no, uh, uh, yeah, in the second cluster was Estonia, Latvia, Slovak Republic, Slovenia, Poland, Belarus, Moldova, and Ukraine And second cluster. What was a key point in this cluster? In that uh, cluster, uh, um, Hungarian government spent, uh, let's say, uh, 20% public expenditure, general public services, which was uh, the key driver for this uh, dimension countries. And also, um, um, uh, and also in, in that countries, an expansion on social affairs, public order, environmental protection, defense, are, were dominating um, as a percentage of GDP. And recently, actually, one also interesting point, uh, Hungarian uh, state budget as a project accepted in December by the parliament with uh, 127 for the uh, four and against 58. And so as a public expenditure part was uh, so in euro, uh, if we uh, make rough, uh, um, uh, change in the, in the currency, it was a 60, and actually it is 60, uh, yeah, we are talking about expenditure, 63 billion uh, euro in the euro. And also I would like to, to mention that Azerbaijan, um, to my audience, um, that Hungarian state budget is a five times bigger than Azerbaijan uh, economy, not economy, public uh, budget. Uh, state budget. So actually the Hungarian and Azerbaijan is almost the same as a, a, the territory and also population, but in Hungarian, uh, the public expenditure five times the, the bigger than Azerbaijan state budget. That's an interesting point what um, I would like to mention. So let's uh, come back again. And also one, one more point uh, when I had looked, so uh, the budget revenue almost 45% uh, uh, of the state revenue in the state budget is coming from the tax revenue. That's also interesting because tax revenue is something as a current revenue and it's highly depend on the individuals and also businesses. And, and if you look at the, the welfare function, we see that that is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the current taxpayers is financing um, the, the government's uh, social policy in order to able to meet their needs. So the next uh, chart, um, um, yeah, so the general public service expenditure split uh, as a by direction. So financial and fiscal affairs 27 percent and the legislative is a 35 is a, as a key driver. And in next functions, uh, as you see, the defense as a percentage of GDP, Hungary is uh, below the European average. Economic affairs, that's quite interesting that in Hungary is uh, above the European average. That's a good sign for the economy. Uh, public order safety. In the recent years, as we see that the number is going up because as you know, in the Europe and also particularly Hungary, we had uh, the, the migration crisis as so a government had to allocate more money in the borders 
in order to protect the European border, how, to, how the government calls. And the next chart, so the public order and safety expenditure, as you see, public order and safety is a 60%, as I mentioned earlier, and justice 23, fire protection 9, and prison 9. So the main point focuses again, public order and safety, which um, the, the majority in this uh, spending. Environmental protection, um, and actually, as you see from the graph, the chart, the Hungary in some years is above and some years up, um, um, down, your European average. But how, uh, however, it's almost uh, not far from the European average. Um, and actually, in the health, so that's a key interesting point. Health is a little bit far from the European average uh, as a percentage of Hungarian health uh, public expenditure spending. Uh, that's a that's a development area for economy, I guess, because it's quite important for the people, uh, health, um, health, being of the citizens, people. Mm, and as you see, the health expenditure split by by direction between 2004 and 2016. The main driver is the hospital services, which is a key and must and the first item of the health expenditure. And it's like if somebody is getting sick, uh, he or she should go to and stay in hospital. That's a, a key spending in that uh, the pocket. Recreation, culture, and religion is above the European um, average. If you think about that, the Hungarian government is really focusing about the people's, the values. Uh, um, so, so we can understand uh, how is a little bit far from the above the European average. Uh, education is a little bit up down. Uh, actually, it's not a bad sign, but in somehow it could be more um, uh, average than European Union. Uh, social protection, and unfortunately, in the recent years, is showing the down uh, uh, downtrend. Um, yeah. So social, uh, in in terms of that split, uh, social insurance and welfare expenditure split. So as you see, as I said before, uh, the pension is a sixty percent of that social uh, expenditure, which uh, we can think about, like if the fifty person is coming from tax revenue and the 60 percent of the pensions um, is let's say mainly financed by tax revenue let's say the current uh, revenue mainly is going to current spending and it has actually a advantage and disadvantage because uh, let's say the economy and people can really uh, pay for the old people in order to let's say as a compensation, but however, it has also risk. If, if, if everything happens in economy, it can affect that government can't pay the, the people uh, what they have to get. So, so that, uh, actually in the charts, um, the, this, uh, this program is um, mainly was about the numbers. And actually in the, in the coming programs, I would like to focus on the, about the recent research in the, the numbers, European economies, and also Hungarian economy, and also non-European economies. See you in the next program. Bye.